Henry Franklin. Henry Bridges Franklin, a Canadian ice hockey player at the 19th century, had a revolutionary style of playing, standing at 3 feet 6 inches. He was still a remarkable player. He was excellent at his game and had all the best tricks up his sleeves. He was even the captain of this team who inspired his player by his determination and skills. Lionel Kiro No matter what hate they may have, wrestlers do know how to make their mark, perhaps. That was why Lionel Grob, also known as a little beaver, chose to ignore his detractors and went on to win titles. He began his career at the age of 15 and wrestled to each big bucks. At 4 feet and 5 inches, Lionel went down into history after he was roped into the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. He died in 1995 of emphysema. The landmark pose, Hornswoggle. When you talk about professional wrestlers, you imagine people who are tall and beef up. But here is Dylan, an American midget professional wrestler, also known as Hornswoggle, who created a tremendous abuse in the wrestling world when he made his debut in WWE in 2005. This 4 feet 5 inch man conquered the title of the world's sexiest midgets and then went on to win a few other titles, including the WWE Crucial Weight Championships. Apart from wrestling, he also made appearances in films as such as Muppets Most Wanted. 2014 and Leprechaun Origins 2014. Eddie Geidel Edward Carl Geidel, standing at 3 feet 7 inches, may have been an American with dwarfism, but despite that, he was still renowned for participating in Major League Baseball game. He was said to be the best goalie and midget who played in a reputable league game. His death was mysterious as reportedly a stranger chased and beat him while he was on his way home. Aditya Dev At the stature of 2 feet 9 inches, Aditya Romeo Dev was an exceptionally talented young man, though he had dwarfism. He was still a brilliant dancer, entertainer, and bodybuilder. He was recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's smallest bodybuilder in 2006. People spoke highly of Romeo's talent and he also made many television appearances. He passed away in 2012 after he suffered from a brain aneurysm rupture.